guys, this is Brendan from the Boys and Girls Club of Dorchester, and today we are going to be making our own puzzle from stuff we have at home. So the first thing you guys are gonna need is a piece of cardboard. Hopefully it's kind of thin. What works well is cereal boxes or the lid of a pizza box. I have just a box from cans of sauce, so I'm gonna use that. You need some scissors. You're gonna need some glue something to draw on the back. So I have a Sharpie here. And then most importantly, you are gonna need your own printed out picture that you're gonna make your puzzle on. So the first step is we're gonna take our picture, we're gonna glue it to the cardboard box. to place it on your piece of cardboard. And what we wanna do next is we wanna put a book on top of it and have it lay flat for a while, either overnight or at least a couple hours so that it lays nice and flat and sticks to that cardboard well. So after you guys have given yourself your puzzle some time to dry, you're gonna take that book up. Hopefully your puzzle is nice and dry. So if you see here, we have a little extra space around the edge of it. What you wanna do is you wanna make sure you trim off around the side so that it's just your picture is left. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna take the scissors and we're just gonna trim the extra cardboard off from around the edges. So after we cut off the edges of the cardboard, what you guys are gonna do is you're gonna flip it over. And now this is where we're gonna use that. Um, like I said, I'm using a Sharpie. You can use a pen or a pencil or anything. And what we're gonna do is we are gonna draw the puzzle pieces on the back of the cardboard. So it'll be easier when we go to cut it out. So we're just gonna draw some pieces like this. So the final step here, once we've drawn all of our puzzle pieces on the back, is you're just gonna cut them all out and then you'll be ready to start doing your puzzle. Alright guys, after you've got all your pieces cut out, you're ready to start putting together your puzzle. Thanks for following along with this video. If you guys tried this out at home, let us know. Send in some pictures of you guys trying it out. And hope you have a good rest of your week, everyone. Last piece.